Hey guys, this is Ken, and I got a great project for you. We're actually going to recreate the Star Wars title crawl from the movie. It's actually a really cool project and actually really easy to do. So let's check it out. Now that we know about titles, let's work on recreating the Star Wars title crawl. Before you do this, you should buy the opening theme if you don't already own it. You can purchase it from Amazon or iTunes. And iMovie makes this really easy to do. So we're going to start off by creating a new project. So I can go to File here. There we go. I can go to File here, New Project, or I can hit Command N. That opens up this up, and we'll call it Star Wars. And we'll choose no theme because we don't really need a theme. We'll go to Create. We have a blank canvas. So, first thing we want to do, if we look over here, we see a pre-keyed title crawl, and it's called Far, Far Away. Kind of a hint, right? So what we do is we drag it right onto our project library and when you see all these you're know, like well it doesn't really look like Star Wars and we go here bam look at that nice space so then you're like oh that was just way too easy but when we play it it's kinda short it kinda like goes by really fast that's really easy to fix we double click our clip right here and let's change the duration instead of four seconds let's change it to forty seconds and just click done and now we'll hit spacebar again to play and you see that's a much nicer speed very uh, much more similar to the movie so let's say maybe this is too slow I can simply grab this blue marker right here that's my title and I can drag it to the left and we'll come back here and we'll hit spacebar and it speeds up a little bit but not everyone's a speed reader so we can move it back back to that original location and let's say let's go ahead and actually change this to about 50 seconds because after the um, the title crawl it ends and we have a little bit of uh, time just like, like in the movie so we see that that's a nice speed it's easy to read and you can go ahead and change the text very easily by double clicking on this blue marker here and just simply changing the te text. Then we just hit right there and um, and then we have that. Now here's a cool little thing that I like to do that it's actually pretty neat. Let's go ahead and um, Drag, you know, if you if you want, find a picture of the Death Star, Death Star, and uh, what we can do is we can drag it right here, right after our clip. And um, so when we hit space, that that looks all right, you know. We can we can even make that look cooler and give give it some effect, like we did some special effects, and that's why I like iMovie. It's it's a great little program where you can do cool little shortcuts. You know, I mean, it's not as in-depth as some of the other editing programs, but you can still have a lot of fun with it. So let's move that to 8 seconds. Oh, that's 80 seconds. It's a little too long. So go here. Just click 8. And then that's a lot longer. And then we can go to Ken Burns. Gives us a nice motion effect. So maybe we want, want, we want to start off at the Death Star. Then the end, we drag it over the planet right here. And that's going to give us some nice motion. So let's check that out. So that's pretty cool. And here's another little trick. So let's open up our transition pane by clicking over here. So we can add something really cool that's going to give us some like effects, like we're zooming through space. So with this transition here, it's how long does this last? 0.5. So that's 0.5 seconds. We double click to open our preferences. And let's make that last about 1.5 seconds. Okay, and you know what? We're forgetting the most important part, the music. So we open up, we can do Command-1. That opens us up to the um, our music. And we'll just simply search Star Wars, and there it is. Now, we just click and drag. Now, there's a couple of options. If you, um, I, I like to um, drag it directly onto the movie itself. That way I can have more control. So then I can move... I can just simply click 
and you know move the music to where I want to start. So let's go ahead and see what we've got so far. Okay, so we want to move this just a little bit more. So then the music starts. right when that comes out. So we've got the timing on that. And now I added this cool transition and we're going to see what it looks like. So if you've been following me along, um, well probably not because you um, have to get the, um, the picture of the Death Star, but probably by now you already have it. So, and the transition we want to go ahead and use is cross zoom. And you're already seeing that's kind of doing a cool little effect right there. So let's go ahead and take it from the top and see what we have. And actually, we'll hit Command G, and we'll play that in full screen mode. And that was it. I mean, I think it's pretty cool that you can actually recreate this in a small little program. And, you know, it could be really fun if you're working on a fan film. There's green screen effects, so you can even recreate a really cool, you know, little movie for yourself. Well, thanks again, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching this, and I hope you had fun. This has been Ken from Mahalo.com. And if you guys want to see any more videos or tutorials like this, just send your request to request at Mahalo.com. Thanks for watching, guys.